Firstly, put the battery into the bin, then connect the battery plug, close the battery cover, and then open the power switch. At this time, the power lamp is on, indicating that the boat is electrified normally. At this time, you can shake the right rocker of the remote control to see whether the motor of the bait boat is moving, and at the same time, check whether the alarm information, area of the hull status information on the remote control screen has alarm information. Then check the number of satellites searching in the GPS information area of the remote control screen. The total number of normal GPS plus Glenis is more than 8, which means that the positioning is successful. In order to use safely, after GPS positioning is successful, the bait boat launching operation is carried out. Usually, after confirming the GPS positioning, we put the bait boat into the water, slightly move the right rocker of the remote control to make the boat forward to the shore 2 to 3 meters. Enter the GPS page. Select the first point to press the confirmation key in the middle of the left rocker of the remote control and set this point as the starting point. After the boat has reached any desired target point, it enters the GPS page. Choose another unstored point, press the left rocker confirmation key of the remote controller and make the point on the screen change from gray to green to indicate that the point has been stored successfully. The same operation can store 3 points, 4 points, 5 points and up to 24 bits. If we don't need a stored point, we can select the target point first, and then press the confirmation key of the left rocker to change the point on the screen from green to gray, then this point will be restored to the point without stored information. There are three modes of hull operation, manual mode, automatic mode and navigation mode. Under any page, the right rocker of the remote controller can be used to control the forward and backward direction of the hull. According to the amplitude and direction of the rocker rotation, the boat can perform corresponding action. Press the automatic running button of the remote controller and the boat can keep straight line along the direction of the current bow. We can adjust the rocker from left to right according to the need by pressing the ATUO button again or by downward swinging the right rocker so that the boat can withdraw from the auto driving mode. When we have the corresponding location on the GPS page, select any point we want to reach and press the go button, then the boat will navigate past with this location as the target point at this moment. Target points on the screen are shown in red. You can exit the navigation mode at any time by pulling down the right rocker. When the bait boat reaches the target point, it changes from red to green, and the buzzer as a reminder followed. In any mode of manual, automatic and navigation, the three speeds of standard, low speed and high speed, can be adjusted by boat speed button cycle. When the bait boat is put into the water, we can make the boat move forward automatically through the automatic driving function. At this time, we can check the structure of the river bed, the water temperature, and the size distribution of the underwater fish flock through the fishing interface of the remote controller. When we reach the position where we want to nest, we stop the boat and press the bait button of the remote controller to throw the bait. When the explosion fish hook is placed, we open the left and right silos firstly, then place the explosion fish hook from the bottom of the boat to the upper part of the bait silo, and then close the bait silo. Put the boat into the water, drive the boat to the right position through the automatic driving button, press the bait button of the remote control and drop the explosion fish hook.
when we need to supply some nesting points, we put the supplementary into the bait bin, then go to the GPS page, select the stored GPS points, that need to be baited, press the go button, navigate the boat to the target point. Press the bait button to put the bait, so as to complete the supplementary operation. Sailway Intelligent Remote Control Bait Boat is equipped with a number of electronic technologies to ensure the safety of the boat when the battery power of the hull is too low or the wireless communication signal is weak. The remote controller sends out an alarm sound and displays the corresponding prompt information in red on the display screen while the bait boat automatically navigates back to the starting point. There is a water intake sensor inside the hull. When there is more water intake or vapor in the hull, the user will be prompted through the screen for safety check. When the electronic compass, GPS module, fishing module, air pressure module, and other functional components fail, the corresponding fault information will be displayed on the display screen so as to facilitate the user to find the problem point. When the bait boat is finished, turn off the power switch, unplug the battery plug, and take out the battery. It's better to open the battery cover, and leave it open for 3 to 5 hours, then close the battery cover. And check whether the propeller around the tail is twisted. If the bait boat is unused for a long time, it should be placed in a dry environment. At least every three months, start up idle propeller, silo, hook and other functional keys to maintain good performance.